Jason, it's Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and there's an awareness walk tonight in Apple Valley. A few of the organizers from 360 Communities are here in studio with us. We have Carol Connolly this morning and Joni Pilata. Chuck, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is your seventh annual walk. Tell me a little bit about why this got started. Well, it started because we really want to bring awareness to the issue and we wanted to join with the community so that there would be a, a community effort to bring awareness and really to honor those who have survived a sexual assault and to give some form of honor and remembrance to them. What's and really, voice. yeah, mm -hmm. what's remarkable too is you do give that voice, and we do have a statistic up right now 293,000 people sexually assaulted in the U.S. each year. Joni, I mean, that's just, it's astounding when you think about those numbers, and you'd have one of those survivors that's going to be speaking at the walk tonight. We do, yes. She is a survivor who experienced uh, sexual assault, harassment at the workplace, and she'll be speaking about that tonight before our walk. And her story really struck with me a little bit because you were telling mm -hmm. me a little bit about it before, and it took a long time, Carol, for her to even be able to talk to someone about it. Correct, yeah. It was, she was in a really vulnerable position, which I think a lot of people are mm -hmm. faced with. She was a single mother, mm -hmm and was sexually assaulted by her supervisor, but needed the job, and so she was in a very um, difficult situation and didn't know what to do, who to tell, had internalized it for a long time before she felt the courage to address it and talk to someone, only to find that really there were no practices in place mm -hmm. at her work, no one she could talk to. She had no idea where to go or what to do with this. And so part of the awareness we're bringing with Jewel's story is it's an it's a area of sexual assault that we don't always hear about. And so we want people to realize and to encourage businesses and companies to really have best practices in place so that when people come forward, they're met with the resources they need, someone like mm -hmm. 360 Communities, um, who can lay out the options for them and even call us if they need support on what are some best practices for them to handle the situation too. Let's talk a little bit about those resources because Joni, I know that you work directly with people who have experienced a sexual assault. What does 360 Communities do when people walk in the door and say, this has happened to me? Oftentimes we hear from people first at our, um, on our hotline. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, many times people want to be anonymous. They want to see what resources are available, how they're going to be met with support. Um, from the advocate that you know first speaks to them on the phone. So whether it's in person or over the phone, we try and you know kind of meet them where they're at, see if they want to report, if they don't want to report, and we can work with the police department with them, things like that. It all definitely depends on where they are and how they want to do things. We want to give them the power back that was taken away from them. You both do incredible work, not only getting the awareness out, but helping people with those resources. If you do want to take part in the walk tonight, it's from 7.30 to 9. It's in the 7100 block of uh, 147th Street West in Apple Valley. We, of course, have all those details for the walk on our website. Joni, Carol, thank you so much thank for coming in so this morning. I think thank this is you. just incredible work that you're thank doing, you. and seven years now. There is something, thank you, Kylie. Uh, there's, there's something so powerful about hearing the stories from survivors themselves and, mm -hmm. and very inspirational for people who are going through it. So thanks for being here, guys. It is Sexual Assault Awareness Month and there's an awareness walk tonight in Apple Valley. Rain or shine and a couple of the organizers from 360 Communities are here in studio with us. Hi. Good morning, Carol Connolly and Joni Palatichuk. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I love that we're having this conversation because this is one that a lot of people don't want to have. And not only do you have this walk, you've had it for seven years, now congratulations yeah. how has it grown I think just word of mouth mm -hmm. and uh, we just keep as our relationships and partnerships within the community grow mm -hmm. we talk to them and then they talk to people and people ha come to have the experience a lot of people will um, do, we were just talking mm -hmm. everybody is touched to know someone and so they might invite someone a friend or a sister or someone and then bring their kids and so, fam you know, families will come and it just grows and grows as people want to take this time to really honor what the walk is about. And it's, so, it yeah. is amazing how, how you have grown this from just a small event to now a yeah. big one. And Joni, I know that a lot of the work that you do at 360 Communities, you're actually working one-on-one -on -one with people hearing their stories about sexual assault. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do? 
Um, I'm one of three advocates of our organization who are housed at a police department mm -hmm. and so I often work directly with people who have recently reported are struggling with whether or not they want to report to law enforcement um, and you know educating them on what that might look like as well as we do a lot of educating the community working with the officers working with um, businesses anybody um, who is interested in helping with the cause um, so it can look a lot of different ways. We do have a fact for you up on your screen right now. 293,000 people sexually assaulted in the United States every year. And I know that you have one of those survivors that is going to be at the walk tonight mm -hmm. sharing her story. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's a remarkable one. It's one that happened within the workplace, too. Right. She was uh, sexually assaulted by her supervisor. Mm -hmm. And it was the challenging situation is she was just off being unemployed. She was a single mother very vulnerable, needed her job, and so it was really challenging for her. She held it within for a long time, not knowing what to do. The, the business environment didn't have a culture of no tolerance where it was clear that she had steps she could take to address it. So it took a while in talking to many people, and still there weren't a lot of practices in place and how it was handled. And so I think it's important for her to speak out now, for people to understand um, to have options for people who come forward, you know, agencies like ours, mm -hmm. at 360 Community or, or wherever, and to take the issue seriously. And you guys do so much to help people. Yeah. Um, and that we, of course, have all that information at WCCO.com slash links if you're looking to learn a little bit more. But if you want to come out tonight, rain or shine, you yes. guys say you have LED we candles do. ready to go. Umbrellas. It, it's, sex, it's the seventh annual <laughs> Sexual Assault Awareness Walk. It's from 730 to 930 tonight. And it is in Apple West Apple Valley. So you can find that information at WCCO.com. And I know that it might not be the best weather, but I do love that events like this bring people out. They feel so passionate about it. No yeah. Matter what the weather's like. So thank yeah. you for coming in thank this morning. Thank you so much for having us. Appreciate